YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. This week, we're going to talk about the Talos Principle. If you like games like Portal or The Cube, if you're looking for another lateral thinking puzzle game, you should definitely check out the Talos Principle because it does that excellently. But it does a lot more than that. If you were playing Portal and you were enjoying all the humor and you're playing through, and somewhere in there though, in the back of your mind, you were thinking, man, Kind of, I would love to see a darker, more philosophic version of Portal. That's basically what the Talos Principle is. Uh, the Talos Principle really digs into a lot of your fundamental philosophic concepts. The nature of consciousness, what it means to be human, all these sort of things. And it asks them very directly. It asks them more directly than any other game I've ever seen. Most games, we explore these through a narrative through playing through characters that have to face decisions or uh, experience things that make us approach these questions. This is a game that is much more directly a philosophic text and exposes you continuously and directly asks you those questions. And in doing so, it could have easily fallen on the side of pretentious. For me, it, it runs that knife edge. It gets really close. If the writing were a little bit worse, if the voice acting were a little bit worse, this game would just be unpalatable, right? This game would be cringeworthy. But it's not. At least for me, it felt just shy of that, and as such, was a very interesting experience. It, it, the gameplay is your standard lateral thinking game, right? It's got braid, time reverse double self mechanics, it's got reflecting lasers, it's got uh, freezing enemies in place to uh, set up a pattern to solve puzzles, got all that sort of thing. But as you're going through those, you got a voice in the sky talking to you, uh, telling you what it takes to get eternal life. And this is set up juxtaposed against a choice to sort of rebel against that voice. And as you're experiencing that, you're encountering a number of computer terminals, which will give you a little bit of insight into the setup of this world. I'm going to try not to spoil very much. Uh, there might be a little bit of spoilers on what I'm going to say next, so uh, go get the game and shut this off if you're something you're already interested in. But uh, this world we're in now, like any world, is set up by the world of the past. And these computer terminals will let you access records from the past. And as you go through them, it, it asks you very all these fundamental philosophical questions, but also expose you to the people who lived in the age before this one and allows you to sort of see into their lives and it actually sets up well some tragic moments. The only thing, my only real issue with this game actually is the fact that the gameplay and I guess we can call the narrative, although I think there's less narrative in this game, even though it has a strong narrative, it's less about narrative than it is about direct philosophical question or exploration is that they're they're sort of separated. The gameplay itself is a lot of lateral thinking puzzles, but often those lateral thinking puzzles are uh, is divorced from the moments where you're just reading blocks of text. And you have to enjoy reading blocks of text in order to get the most out of this game. They also deliver through audio logs and some other things, but mostly, most of this uh, philosophical inquiry you're going to get through reading old archive files on computers that sort of uh, you encounter between your various puzzles. So if I had any complaint, it would be that. But if you like lateral thinking problems, if you want a more philosophic game, if you want a game that directly confronts you with these questions, just as a designer, it's interesting to see a game that doesn't try and bring you into these questions through narrative, through the experience of a character, but rather just head on says, hey, check out these questions, what do you think? Then you should check out the Talos Principle because writing solid, voice acting solid, it does actually have a good narrative, it is a dark, the next words I want to say will spoil something, so I'm not going to say them. But it's a dark world that has a lot going on. It's a beautiful place. I'm sure during this, they're going to be showing tons of screenshots. There's lots of references to antiquity and to classical civilizations. There's lots in there to dig into if you like just thinking about these sort of things. and give you plenty to sit around the coffee shop late at night with your friends to talk about. 
if you don't like reading large blocks of text, if it really bothers you to have your experience sort of broken up between puzzle and narrative, um, if you don't like negative possibility space, because this is also a game with a large area to explore, and you want to explore it all because you'll find yourself wanting to see the philosophy, wanting to understand more about the world and the narrative, uh, but there's a lot of space there where there's nothing in it. Um, but those caveats are minor. This is a different experience than you've had. It's a different way of approaching philosophic questions than you've seen in games. And so, as such, this week, if you like lateral thinking games, if you like stuff like Portal, if you want to see an exploration of philosophy, well then, James recommends the Telus Principle. See you all next week.